Now let's talk about Buddha. Yeah, Buddha was a violent cat. Buddha was an aggressive cat. At one point, Buddha tagged me so hard, I didn't feel my hand until the next day, and that's no joke at all. Can you be cool? Ow! No, you can't. Ow, my God. We were at the end of our rope with Buddha. He was biting people, attacking Hector. Rick would laugh at Hector, his roommate, friend of 20 plus years, or anyone else who got beat up by his cat. Somehow, he found it funny. I got along with Buddha fine. It was the other people that had issues with Buddha. <laughs> well, this is typically what happens. It's absolutely terrible. Hector and I had a emergency kit dedicated to Buddha attacks. Friends would come over, Buddha would attack, so we needed to have an emergency kit handy, nearby, always. I have never seen an emergency kit dedicated to the cat. Not only that, it was Velcro to the side of the couch. The major issue with Buddha and Hector and I was that uh, Buddha was kind of my cat. Hector had issues with him because he bit and scratched sometimes and I was pretty nonchalant about it and thought, you know, Hector should deal with it and Hector thought I should deal with Buddha. So not only were we dealing with a big aggressive cat, we were dealing with a big problem between these two roommates because there, there was such a disconnect. One of the main issues we had was there was a Buddha free zone and that was Hector's part of the house in the back. So I really had to get rid of, first of all, the Buddha free zone. We had to invite Buddha in. We actually had to roll out the red carpet for Buddha. I needed to have Buddha share uh, Hector's space, even though I know that was really scary for him. Uh, some of the best uh, assignments that Jackson gave Hector and I for Buddha were uh, playing with him more. When you play with Buddha, he chills out. He's not gonna attack and bite people. So let's talk about Buddha's temple, which really, in the end, was this amazing success. One of the assignments that Jackson gave Hector and I was to build this Buddha temple. And uh, it was pretty much for Buddha and for Hector, me too, but mainly for Buddha and Hector. I wanted Buddha to be invited into people's world. Hector, for sure, we wanted to build Buddha's temple in Hector's space, but also I wanted all of Hector and Rick's friends to come in and make offerings. I am bringing this peace offering, a lovely flower. Because the way they perceived this cat was that Buddha was the devil. They really had to approach him in a different way because perception can be reality. If you treat someone like the devil, they will act like the devil. It was a really huge success because the other part about it was visually, it was beautiful. It was this way of saying, we have a cat named Buddha and he rocks. Even though Hector's not here today, Hector and Buddha are living peacefully. I swear Buddha did not kill Hector. He's around, he loves Buddha. It's, it's like a different world, different house. After Jackson's uh, miracle cures and the homework that we did, Buddha's, Buddha lives up to his name. Buddha's pretty mellow, he's cool, he plays, he's not attacking people. We have friends with kids that are coming over and they're, they're pretty safe around Buddha now. Hector, the way you went through fear in order to reestablish a relationship with Buddha, in order to keep your home, in order to keep your relationship with Rick was so impressive. And really, the payoff that you got, huge. It goes beyond your relationship with Buddha. You have a relationship with Rick again. Rick, the reason why you have a relationship with Hector is not only because you took the problem seriously, you allowed Hector to express fear and to work through it, but you also became a participant in the solution instead of laughing at the problem. You guys, congratulations. I'm definitely psyched that I called Jackson. It was a life-changing experience. Hector and I are happier, Buddha's happier. Life couldn't be better. For people out there that have a cat from hell, do not give up. There's hope. Call Jackson, he will hook you up, fix your cat, your life will be a million times better.